morning, everyone. Thanks for the introduction, and also thanks for the committee for letting us present our work here. And as said, my name is Jarko Polvi, and I will present our research handheld guides in inspection task of augmented reality versus picture. And first, let's start by defining what inspection is. So obviously, there can be many de definitions for it, but based on our collaboration with industry professionals, uh, who do inspection, we define it as a procedural task of inspecting targets in a workplace or work environment via visual observation. So basically this is something that is uh, often conducted in uh, large factories or server facilities or similar kind of places. And uh, the inspection is often supported by some sort of guide, uh, which typically is a paper manual, and these guides are especially important for people who are not familiar with the work environment who are, for example, newly, newly hired uh, the, uh, inspection personnel. And then, uh, how is inspection related to maintenance? Because we often talk about using AR in maintenance. And these can, of course, overlap, and they do, and they are really similar and can be uh, like difficult to differentiate them really clearly. But uh, we define the inspection being mainly visual observation of the environment, meaning that you just observe something with your eyes. And then the uh, maintenance is mainly something where you physically manipulate the environment, meaning that you touch some lever or something like that. And um, more, uh, what generally happens in the inspection tasks can be divided into three phases. So first, uh, you would uh, observe the guide and check the information of the next target that you are going to inspect. And then you locate the target from the work environment and inspect it by visual observation. And finally, uh, you usually report the result of your inspection to the guide or to some form of checklist. And then if we look closer to the phases one and two, uh, the problem in the inspection with these kind of conventional guides is that uh, is the repeated information matching, when you try to uh, match the information from the guide to the environment. Meaning that if you do not uh, know the location or details of the target that you are going to inspect, you have to sit, uh, switch your gaze from the device to the environment and do this uh, repeatedly several times. And this can obviously lower your work, in, uh, work efficiency and increase your cognitive workload. And it's especially difficult uh, in the tasks where you need to align your viewpoint. So for example, if you are observing the work environment from this angle, but then the guide refers that you should be seeing it from different angles, so then you need to figure out how to move. So our approach to this problem is to use handheld AR to overlay the information of the guide to the work environment. And the main benefit of this uh, is obviously to reduce the information matching, so you would not have to shift your gaze between the guide and the environment so much and the reason why we use uh, handhelds instead of SMDs, for example, is that they are more practical in the complete workflow of the inspector who is working in the factory. So they are highly mobile and they have good uh, information input and information sharing capabilities. So the workers often need to see, for example, a spreadsheet of data or input something or send a message. And also then we validate the use of AR against a conventional guide in a user study. So if we quickly go through the related work of AR and task support, it can be roughly divided into two, AR with SMDs and AR with handhelds. And the SMD-based AR in task support has been used and evaluated quite a lot in many physical manipulation tasks, such as maintenance or repair or various assembly tasks. And of course, the clear benefit of SMDs is that you can use two hands when you uh, when you manipulate the environment and see, still see the visual content at the same time. And then we, then if you look at the related work of handheld AR in test support, and because they are really highly mobile, uh, handheld AR has often been applied to various indoor and outdoor main, uh, sorry, navigation, navigation tasks. And handled AR also has been used in remote collaboration and assembly and other tasks that focus more on the physical manipulation. And there are some studies where handheld AR has been applied to uh, more visual observation oriented tasks. And to summarize related work, 
So the HMDs has been used in physical manipulation and it has often been proven to increase the efficiency or improve users' work performance. And handheld AR has also been used in physical manipulation, but the results have not been so great, which is probably mainly due to the fact that due to the difficulties of seeing the content and manipulating the environment at the same time. And there are some research that focus on visual observation. However, uh, there isn't any comprehensive comparison between handheld AR and the conventional systems, especially in these tasks require viewpoint alignments. So our contribution is uh, that we, are, uh, we have the first comparative handheld AR study in visual observation. And uh, the main goal of this study was to provide empirical validation of the benefits of using handheld AR opposed to conventional guides in visual observation tasks. So our study was a comparison between AR guide and a picture guide in this kind of computer machine inspection scenario that required users to align the viewpoint. And our study was a counterbalance two by two design, within group design, and we had 24 participants, all who were graduate students around 28 years of age. So uh, we had two independent variables. First, the guides, AR guide and the picture guide. Then we had two tasks, low mobility and a high mobility task. And what we actually measured was the task completion time, the number of inspection errors, meaning that do the users inspect the state of the target correctly or not. And then we also measured the normalized amount of cases, meaning that how many times per minute you switch your gaze from the device to the environment. And we also measured subjective feedback with uh, NASA DLX questionnaire and preform comments. So, and here are the guides. The both guides were used on third generation iPad. And the AR guide was using SLAM tracking, where the SLAM map was initialized from one viewpoint only. So if you lose the tracking, then you go back to the same viewpoint. And the AR guide also had a two-dimensional arrow, which was pointing to the direction uh, of the annotation if it was not on the screen. And then the picture guide was basically just a top-down image of the section of the work environment where the target was. And the guide allowed users to zoom in to the picture with a pinch and zoom gesture. So we had two tasks in the computer hardware inspection. In the low mobility task, we had two uh, desktop PCs laid on the table. And on the high mobility task, we had four. So the difference between the tasks was basically the scale and how much you would need to move. And uh, we designed, we tried to design the targets in a way that you would have to uh, change your viewpoint or that it would be much more easier to like uh, do the inspection from a certain viewpoint. And also, of course, what caused you to move is that because it's uh, desktop PCs, all the targets and cables are really small, so you need to be close to actually see them. And we would like to say that the information density in both tasks was really high because there was a lot of computer parts, cables, and memory modules, and something like that. And for both tasks, we had 20 targets. In the low mobility task, there was separate uh, divided by 10 and 10, and on the high mobility, there was five times four. And all of them were yes or no questions. For example, that is this cable connected? When you see the annotation bubble, then you answer either yes or no uh, regarding to what you see on the environment. And because it was a within group design, we had uh, two equally different, uh, equally, equally diffi difficult versions of the same factor in this case. So we had three hypotheses for the study. First one was that the task completion time with the AER guide is less than using the picture guides, mainly because you don't have to do so much information matching. And then the second one, there is no difference between the guides uh, in the number of errors. And we thought this because the overall amount of errors should be really low, meaning that all the targets, the state of the target, is it correct or not, should be really clear. We, just, we figured out that it would just take more time. And then the final one, AR guide causes fewer gaze shifts than the picture guide. 
And this is obviously because with the AR you can use videos, video see-through, so you don't need to switch your focus so much from the device to the environment. And here are the results from the objective measurements. Uh, we used two-way two ANOVA, reproducible ANOVA to analyze them, and the sample size was 24. And in each graph, the AR and the picture guides are grouped. So on the left side, you will see, you see the results for both tasks for AR, and on the right side, both tasks for picture. And as we can see, the AR was significantly faster than the picture guide when the overall task times were around uh, three to five minutes. And also with the AR guide, the user made less errors, although the average amount of errors were still quite low, almost in all tasks, it's around one error from the 20. And finally, the AR caused less case discriminants in both tasks. And for the subjective measurement, we used the NASA TLEX questionnaire, which measures the overall subjective, mental, and physical workload. And it has six questions about mental, physical, temporal demand, and performance, effort, and frustration. And we used a uh, one to seven Likert scale, where the lower uh, index is better. And as we can see, the AR also had better scores in the subjective measurement. And to summarize the comments, what we had, what we most heard about AR was that the finding the target was easy and really straightforward that you would not need to think so much. But then the AR interface was much more difficult to learn. And in the tutorials, what we did before the actual test, it always, we didn't measure it, but it always took longer time to get people familiar how the AR works with the picture. And what several people said that tracking in this lesson was annoying, meaning that if you lose the tracking, then you always will have to come back to the present test again. And for the picture, uh, it was thought to be easy to learn, which is pretty easy to understand because everybody knows how to use uh, touchscreen devices. And the zooming was seen really useful feature, and, but on the negative side, Related to the information matching, you have to fix your gaze a lot from the device to the environment. And also, they, the user did feel that it didn't provide enough uh, depth views of the environment. So, the results from the task time and the gaze shifts, they pretty much support each other, meaning that the users were faster because they did not need to match the information from the guide. They could just uh, look at the screen of the device. And because they could just look at the screen of the device, they did not have so many gaze shifts. And we believe that the number of errors was caused mainly because uh, users inspected wrong targets. Not that the tar uh, state of the targets were unclear, but because they did not inspect the correct targets. And these are also related to the information density, basically with AR, because there was no occlusion handling. Sometimes people did not see the annotation on top of the correct target that they were supposed to inspect, so then they inspected the wrong target. And for the picture interface, uh, so we had desktop PCs laid on the table, and of course they are all PCs, they look somewhat similar, but they still had differences. That you can see that, okay, this one is this and this one is this. But with the picture interface or picture guide, uh, it was quite difficult for people to actually see understand which section, where in which section the target is. So sometimes they, they made a mistake and they uh, inspected the wrong section. And obviously because our test users were not familiar with this kind of environment. So if you had inspect uh, inspectors who know the environment, they would not need to spend so much time on looking where everything is. So that would probably decrease the differences between these two guys. And Obviously our guides were really very simple, but we had the only the minimum features that allowed us to focus better on the different uh, differences in the information presence in media. And we think that by that we would obtain, uh, obtain more generally sizable results. And then we did not have a no mobility task, meaning that you inspect everything from the certain viewpoint because in the related work already something like this has been done and handled data has been proven not to be so so efficient in that kind of task. And of course, the complexity of the real inspection environment, it can vary a lot. Sometimes you can have a, a high information density, sometimes low. 
And for the future work, uh, we need to do more evaluations in the real inspection environment, for example, in the factory or server facility, where we have the targets on not only on horizontal surface, but also on the walls and various surfaces. And we need to have the complete workflow. So basically, the inspections, they do other things also with the tablet, not only to view something on AR, so when they send messages and something like that. And uh, we can improve the interfaces. The AR should have 3D location and distance indicator, better tracking information. We could have occlusion handling. And then in the picture, uh, it should have a better overview, meaning that it would show like a high level location where everything is, and then on low level location. And probably in the end, the best combination would be AR plus picture, so that we have the overview of the environment in a picture format, and then we have AR, AR uh, with a freeze and zoom function. So to conclude, inspection is visual observation uh, of the work environment using a guide, and we compared AR guide versus the picture guide, and we found that AR was faster, caused less errors and less cases. Thank you. All right, thanks again. I believe we're out of time for this session, so the next session st uh, starts immediately following, so please follow up directly with the speaker with any questions. And let's have a final round of applause for all the speakers again. Thanks for your presentations.